Hey everyone, this is Missy from Looking Glass Factory. I'm a creative technologist, and today I'm gonna show you my process of taking models that I made in Blender, pulling them into Procreate to paint on them and create cool textures, and then pulling the final result into my Looking Glass portrait as a hologram. So this is my scene, a little dragon, their desktop, kind of 90s Windows computer setup. I did all the UV wrapping and I did some smart UV projecting beforehand and exported all of them out as separate OBJs to pull into Procreate. Now, for those of you that don't know what Procreate is, it's an app, an iOS app that allows you to take the Apple Pencil and draw digitally in it. You can draw a lot of really cool stuff. So yeah, last year Procreate made an update that allows you to pull in 3D models and paint directly on them with all the really cool brushes and pencils that they have. So even though painting on a 3D model is really cool in itself, Procreate also has some cool uh, features like being able to add a reference image to reference while you're painting your model. And then also you can mess around with the scene lighting and add lights, take away lights, you can change the environment which is really helpful when you're making a scene that's 3D directly from Procreate and planning to export that as a you know 2D image to share on your website or something. But yeah, basically as I was exploring Procreate on 3D models, I noticed it was pretty similar to painting on a 2D texture, or just a 2D plane or something. Even that you can resize and um, reshape layers. And as you can see, I did my heart, so I did that here. It's really cool and really seamless, especially if you've already been using Procreate. And if you haven't, then it's still really cool and seamless too, regardless. So highly recommend. I decided to make a really simple scene because I didn't want to do too much in my first time going from Procreate to a holographic scene in the Looking Glass portrait, but I think it still turned out really nice and it's really fun to make, so advocate for starting simply, I guess. Another really cool thing about Procreate when you're doing 3D model painting is you can toggle back and forth between the 3D model and the 2D texture. So the texture that's being rendered out when you're drawing on the 3D model, as you can see here, I decided to go in and soften the edges so I can make a better gradient. And I went and did more fine detail on the texture map instead of doing it directly on the 3D model, which is really cool and flexible. I love it. When I was concepting out this little character, I envisioned maybe making a little holographic scene with Unity Unreal with our plugins. So I rigged the character in Blender. It would be kind of cute to see this hand-painted character interactively as a hologram, a hand-crafted hologram. But comment below if you want to see that next for a process video. So as you can see, we've got our keyboard, we've got our desktop computer, we've got our monitor, come over, we've got our little potted plant with a heart on it, we've got our desk with some books, and then you can, I'm gonna lower the transparency on that so that it's more seamless. And now we're ready to export. So as you can see, you have a lot of options there. As I mentioned before, you can edit lighting on the scene and you can also change the environment. And that's something that you should definitely explore a little further if you have an iPad and you can do this because it seems really cool, but I'd have to dig in a little deeper, I think. You can also view an AR, but we're gonna share the textures, the PNG textures. We're not gonna share the model or the image because I'm gonna pull these textures back in to Blender as you can see here. And it's so cute. Definitely has this handcrafted quality added to my Blender scene that maybe I could have gotten without Procreate, but I don't think it would have been as fast as this. Voila, and now we'll futz with our scene, 
for some nice little rendering and then I'll render out a quilt to put in my portrait. And here dragon character is in all of their glory in a looking glass portrait. You can pull your work in in a number of ways. You can go from Procreate to Unity, Procreate to Unreal. But yeah, today I showed you Procreate from Blender to Looking Glass Portrait. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let us know if you want more tutorials around texturing and Procreate and pulling into Blender. This is just a process video, so we didn't get into the nitty gritty details of UV unwrapping and how you should export, import, but I'd be happy to do so if you want that. As always, you can shoot me an email, missy at lookingglassfactory.com, because I love to see what you create. Thanks for watching.